Through a painful bloodshed of nine months, Bangladesh achieved independence in 1971, which led this nation to declare strong commitment for world peace in the Constitution. In 1974, Bangladesh became a member of the United Nations and has been upholding the commitment towards world peace in more and more functional ways. Consequently, Bangladesh made a state-of-the-art mark on this journey for world peace named Bangladesh Institute of Peace Support Operation Training, BIPSOT. Since the very first attachment of Bangladesh in the United Nations peacekeeping operation in 1988, we have been always eager to contribute to global peace through UN missions. The United Nations General Assembly Resolution 49-37 of 1994 made member states primarily responsible for preparing their peacekeepers. In this backdrop, Bangladesh government established Peacekeeping Operation Training Center PKLTC on 24th June 1999. Later, in 2002, PKOTC was shifted to its current location and renamed as Bangladesh Institute of Peace Support Operation Training BIPSOT which is now globally recognized as one of the premium peacekeeper training icons in the Asia-Pacific region. I'm very impressed with what I have seen here uh, today and the kind of training they go through before they are deployed. Uh, this explains very clearly why they do so well on these peacekeeping operations and I want to congratulate the government and the head of the Army, Navy and Air Force for the kind of training they offer here and the best peacekeeper, as I said, is the best trained soldier and I'm happy that you are preparing them for effective peacekeeping around the world. Uh, all it starts uh, from here. Uh, that's why I have come and you are a center of excellence, you are a pioneer. And uh, you know, I'd like to really thank you for saving lives of many around the world uh, keeping peace and security. BIPSOT is located at the Rajendrapur cantonment, just 32 kilometers north of the capital city, Dhaka. With the mission to impart specialized training to potential peacekeepers on UN peace support operations, BIPSOT continues to pursue two specific objectives. Firstly, to provide tactical and operational levels of peace support training and secondly to develop a faculty of researchers on peace and conflict studies. In a campus of more than 50 acres, BIPSOT includes all necessary structures and facilities of international standard to provide training to the potential peacekeepers from all over the globe. Bangladesh has become one of the top contributors of UN peacekeepers in the last decade. It is a matter of pride that out of 10 peacekeepers deployed today, at least one is from Bangladesh. And thus, 
Bipsot is directly or indirectly training one-tenth of the peacekeepers deployed globally. This institute is capable of training individuals and groups on all aspects of peace support operation and has all kinds of modern facilities to impart training in the most effective manner. Bipsot also pioneered e-learning for foreign and Bangladesh armed forces by conducting UN Military Observer course online since June 2011. They'll receive a fragmentary order for a practice period and then they'll practice or rehearse if you like the task prior to actually putting it into execution. Bipsot has international training partners like US Pacific Command, ICRC, UNHCR, UNDP, IOM, UN Women and others. In major collaboration with US Global Peace Operation Initiative, GPOI, BIPSOT also conducts Peacekeeping Operation Contingent Commanders course, Peacekeeping Operation Instructor course, Train the Trainer course, UN Staff Officers course, Logistic Officers course, Civil Military Coordination Officers course and International Defense Management course. In March 2012, Bipsot hosted a multi-platoon exercise named Shantidut 3, the third search endeavor since 2002. The exercise was co-sponsored by U.S. Pacific Command and was joined by some 400 overseas members from 15 countries and 600 participants from Bangladesh Armed Forces. It was noted to be the world's largest peacekeeping training in 2012. A good soldier can be a good peacekeeper, but they need to understand for what purpose they are using those skills. They come from war fighting training to peacekeeping training. The first thing they have to learn is the objective of peacekeeping is not to defeat the enemy, but to win the trust of the local population, to listen and show sympathy and understand what their concerns are. A resolution of a problem through negotiation. But what it did was, first of all, it opened room for the militia to come back. Since inception, BIPSOT has contributed appreciably in preparing potential peacekeepers in line with the UN resolution and so far has trained over 6,300 personnel including 1,251 overseas participants from 26 countries. As recognition of its performance, BIPSOT has been elected as the Secretariat of the Association of Asia-Pacific Peace Operations Training Centers, AAPTC. It was also holding the presidency of the International Association of Peacekeeping Training Centers, IAPTC, in 2010. As an institute, BIPSOT always looks forward to devote wholeheartedly in achieving the objectives up to the expectations of all concerned. Now, this institute also welcomes other organizations to explore and enjoy BIPSOT facilities and expertise for their seminars, conferences or workshops as an event of pride. Inspired by the sacrifice of our great war martyrs, followed by our brave peacekeepers, BIPSOT is committed to carry this journey towards world peace and to set a mark from Bangladesh as the regional center of excellence.